and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Royal Tessitore Royal and Teddy Royal Atlas Royal welcoming Royal you Royal to the Royal, Royal London Royal Theater Royal here in Royal London, Royal England Royal for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds among Royal heavyweights. Royal 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 this should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of Atlanta. Opening three minutes of this ten-round fight. Good defensive skill with the block by Mike Tyson. I think most people would probably figure if we were to make a checklist of the advantages and disadvantages you want in a fighter, superior hand speed would definitely be a big advantage. But you've trained many a guy who's been up against a guy with better hand speed. What have you told them? I've told them that that's only one dimension. That's only one thing. Turn that against them. Make it a kind of place where they can't use it. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Tyson's right hand scores well that time. Holyfield showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. Scored well with that right hand to the body. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. Tyson's able to avoid that punch. Body shot, left hand. So they close out that round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, I know you watch uh, very closely how these trainers go about their business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great Customato. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations, probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those, you know, really great trainers and managers that boxing was their whole life. I spent seven years with Customato, and they learned the nuts and bolts from a physical, technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter, but the psychological part, to understand the pressure that a fighter is under, the fears that a fighter deals with, and if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything. Because you have to understand how a fight is feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. Hey, if you can throw them all, you may just land them all. And he does with that four-punch combination. Halfway through round number two. Iron Mike Tyson lands a big right hand. Tyson's blocking ability is doing well for him there. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. By sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Holyfield connects with a huge right hand. Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. Good effective work with that straight right hand. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. You just can't move around. You gotta move with you. And round number three is underway. Nice block. Good doubling up of the jab by Mike Tyson. That's it. 
Holyfield's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Great work offensively landing that combination by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. Good step back counter punch there. Good combination to the body. Right to the head with that right. Tyson's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Evander Holyfield. Tyson's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Holyfield's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. A stinging counterpunch after some fine defense by Evander Holyfield. Targeting that one, two. And now he scores with that left to the body. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. And this round comes to an end. Relax. Just like that, all right? Another round, just like that. He doesn't like those body shots. Believe me, he doesn't like that kick. Keep working the body. Take some of that. How you doing? You okay? I need to use your feet. Move around the ring. You got that? Teddy, we look at your scorecard here at the beginning of round four. He's up three to zip, but it may be a moot point. He's put his man down on the canvas in complete control of this fight. Yeah, he's hurt him several times. He's shown power, and his opponent has shown no ability to change things. Evander Holyfield's trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen first of all physically you have to revigorate the guy you know maybe massage the legs a little bit most importantly get some ice on the back of his neck you know get that blood flow going a little bit make sure that you revive him a little bit get him back to feeling like he's ready to go out there there he goes with the right hand again Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Tyson's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Good right hand. Huge uppercut by Tyson. Evander Holyfield with a big right hand. Holyfield's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Big, big shot he just scored with. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. 